Self-proclaimed fitness activator Jennifer Turner says her mad cool fitness workout can help anyone who wants to work on their abs and arms or just get rid of the junk in the trunk. Here she is in action. Give me four across. One, two, three, four. Over your head. One, two, three, four. Cross. One, two, three, four. Over your head. One, two, three, four. Pull it back. Leg. That's right. Come on. Good music, people, the crowd is, you know, everybody keeps you energized and we're all familiar with each other, so it's fun. I've been doing gym since uh, about 10 plus years now, right after high school, and this is really a class I push for sure. Jennifer is like, I love her energy, I love her music, I love the dance style, I love how she incorporates the audience and the routine. And joining us now, triathlete Jennifer Turner. Hello, Welcome thank you. Welcome to you. In fact, you ran in here, Ratty. You made me <laughs> I was feel ready to guilty. Go. I was ready to go. It's a cold <laughs> day. I was like, let's get the blood running. Let's go. Let's go. Seven marathons. Is Seven my marathons, correct. And how many triathlons? And 12. 12, 12 triathlons. triathlons. And I'm actually training for my first uh, Ironman triathlon. So okay, that'll stop. be, yes. Yeah, so <laughs> It, yes, it's that it didn't time start there. It didn't start there, but exactly, yes. yeah. which is really the good news for yeah. a lot of us. Yeah, um, you. What essentially encouraged you, as you have said, to change your life? Yeah, yeah. So what really happened was, you know, I was um, about 24, and um, I had been struggling with my weight and an eating disorder for over a decade, and I really decided enough was enough. I really felt very trapped in my mind and my body. You know, I was crash dieting and starving and I was hungry all the time and I still mm -hmm. didn't look the way that I wanted to. I wasn't fat at that point, but yeah, I still, yes. but I had body fat on me mm -hmm. and I was just like, this is a miserable existence. And I just felt like I could not take one more step in that life. So I decided to change. Now you essentially were dealing with an eating disorder, yes. bulimia? I was I dealing with bulimia. So I actually, um, the last time I was overweight was uh, when I was 13 and I lost weight um, at the age of 13 essentially by becoming bulimic. And I lost about 40 pounds in the span of two months. And um, it was interesting in that I think in my mind, even though I was technically thin, mm -hmm. I still felt fat exactly. and I had felt like I had cheated because I had cheated. Mm -hmm. I mean really the only difference, the only reason why I wasn't overweight or obese because I was binge eating, eating a lot of you know high fat foods, high calorie foods, stress eating was because I was binging and purging and so that disease um, plagued me essentially for over a decade and it was highly correlated with stress. I had mm -hmm. no stress management tools so anytime I got stressed out in life, uh, work, relationship, whatever it was, there I was eating chicken wings and um, <laughs> you know those chicken wings and um, and so basically um, when I was about 24 I was on my way to business school and I decided enough was enough and I had really reached that point where I was ready to change and so for the first time in my life I focused on the process of changing of engaging in healthy behaviors and activities every day so I started to go to the gym every single day 
I stopped weighing myself. I stopped focusing on calorie counting mm -hmm. and just focused on that process of changing. And then one thing led to another. I had a workout buddy uh, in my gym. And uh, next thing you know, I was training for my first marathon. And one thing led to another and triathlons and Boston Marathon. And here I am. And essentially, you believe that anyone can do this, can make these changes, Absolutely. these healthy changes. In Absolutely. fact, you sort of just... From reading about mm -hmm. you and your program, you sort of just listed what you need, one of some of the things you need to do. You need to commit to something and do it every day. But every it day. needs to be something you can commit to and do every, every day. day. Every day. Or, or on a schedule. Exactly. I mm -hmm. think that structure is really important. So I think, first of all, just to back up, I think people try to bite off more than they can chew. Mm -hmm. So I think you have to start with you know, something small that you can do. Say, I'm going to go to the gym three times a week for 30 minutes, whatever it is. Or I'm going to walk around the block three times a week for 30 minutes. And just be very consistent with what that goal is. And before you even do that, really have a conversation with yourself about, am I really ready to change? Am I trying to lose weight and be healthy because it's something I should do? Or is this something that I fundamentally really want to do? Because if you're in the world of should, your chances of being successful and committing to that goal are pretty low. But if you are really ready to change, then go go get it. Well, for some people, the should is a must because they've got health yes, issues that, yes, are, yes. that are out there. Yes, um, yes. So you might want to sort of wallow in it, but right. you, necess you, you if should it's a critical, be... If it's a critical um, condition where your doctor is saying, look, you've got to change or you may not be with us, then really try to activate around that, figure out how you can get a support network to help you, a friend, I use this phrase crew when I talk about Mad Cool Fitness, get your crew of girls together to help support you, figure out what system you need to have in place in terms of your life, getting organized so that it can really support you to change in that behavior. And sticking to it, because those to friends it. can push you to yes, do that. Yes. Hey, look, the eating is a big component. It's huge. Um, <laughs> and it's, so it's not about saying I'm not going to eat anything. Right. Or you, you can't do that. Mm. You can't do that because it's sort of like that that whole phrase like stop thinking about the white elephant in the room. The only thing you can do is think about the white elephant. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you'd be like I'm not going to eat chicken wings. The next thing you know the only thing you're doing is eating chicken wings. <laughs> right. So you can't. I got a feeling <laughs> chicken wings or something. I have this thing. I mean, you know, I'm from Chicago. We used to have this place called Harold's Chicken and that's, that's some good chicken. I spent a lot of time eating Harold's Chicken and okay. Hot Lakes too. But um, but yeah, I think that you really need to um, figure out how to do things in moderation. Mm -hmm. So part of the reason why the exercise is important, and this was important exactly. in my life, is that the exercise, first of all, helps to manage stress. Mm. Second of all, when you're engaging in healthy behaviors and activities like running, the idea of having greasy chicken sloshing around in your stomach is not good. Exactly. So what's going to happen is that you are going to start to gravitate naturally towards foods that are cleaner that can really help you to do that activity that you love to do. Which brings me to my next point. Mm -hmm. You should really focus on activities that you want to do. Yeah. If you don't like running, then you should not run. Why? Because when it's 10 degrees outside like it is today, you, you are going it. to bag it. It is mm -hmm. not going to happen. So start with activities that you think, hey, you know what? I think this is something fun that I'm naturally interested in. It's something that I can do with my friends. So there's some sort of social support around it and social connection. It's very difficult to do things by yourself, especially when they're things that you don't want to do. And I know that you have DVDs, workout yes. DVDs, that are, are a whole lot of fun. The music is fabulous. Thank um, you. So it's it, <laughs> that's one of the things that you can do to, yes. to, to help motivate yourself and yes. keep you interested. Yes. And I, I specifically created um, the Mad Cool Cardio Dance Party. Um, it is a workout for real women featuring re real women. Um, the women in the DVD are multi-ethnic. They are real women from my fitness classes. These are not professionals. And um, I wanted something that, first of all, the workout is fun. It's a total body cardio dance workout that is, is fun. It's something you can do with your girlfriends. Mm -hmm. And I also wanted to make sure that I think there are too many DVDs out there that show perfect women doing perfect exercises perfectly and I think we spend so much time trying to be perfect it can be very alienating to somebody who's just like hey I'm just trying to get started with my healthy um, routine so I wanted to create something that was um, inclusive and representative and relatable um, and something that could really hopefully inspire people who want to get off the couch to do yeah, we yeah. saw that earlier when we looked at, at your class the people they look like us they look yes. like, well maybe not like <laughs> you with those arms <laughs>
<laughs> what are some some of the common mistakes people make? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they especially this time of year. You right. get into it. It's the first of the year. I'm going to start <laughs> out now, and, and they maybe they're you know they're doing well. Maybe they are. Right. They've got a schedule that right. they stick to most of the time, but maybe they fall off the wagon. Right. What are some of the common mistakes right. people make? They just you know mess themselves up. That that we shoot ourselves in the foot. So yeah. So the common you know New Year's resolution is I'm going to lose weight for real this time. I'm going to get healthy for real this time. And I think often what happens is um, there are a couple of things. So one, people bite off more than they can chew. So we start off with, you know, from a place of I'm not doing anything to I'm going to run a marathon. Oh, and, you know, it just doesn't happen that way. And when I started, I just literally said, I'm just going to go to the gym every day. I actually wasn't quite sure what I was doing in the gym. I just knew that I was gonna going go to the gym. Mm -hmm. And I focused on, you know, repeating that behavior. My sister um, calls me uh, Rain Man because I, like, repeat <laughs> the same things, like, over and over again. Um, but I just focused on that habit. So the first thing is just to be simple, you know. So I say, keep it simple, sister. Like, keep the goals simple. Keep the activity simple. Keep the process around doing that activity and getting to that activity simple. And so then the next thing I would say is, I think you should be specific um, and also write the goals down. So it's not just um, I'm going to do X. I think right. you need to really figure out how how you're going to do it. Mm -hmm. Write it down. Be specific. Figure out the process around it. Your process. Because your day and the things that stress you and the things that impact your life are very different from what happens in my life. So it has to be very specific to, do, to you. Mm -hmm. We have enjoyed having you. Thank you. And hopefully we've motivated some people. Yes, yes. You've motivated me. Oh, thank Just you. Just looking at your arms. <laughs> <laughs> weights, weights. It's really important. And we weights. can get anyone interested in the Mad Cool workout. Yes. Mad Cool DVD workout. You can go to madcoolfitness.com. Okay. Perfect. So we're going to have to have you back. That's right. So we can do some, like, push-ups or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Sandra Bookman and Here and Now will be right back.